What up, bro? YouTube. I know it's been a while since I made a video, but you know I've been working trying to get my money together so I can keep my truck up how y'all like it. But I got a couple things, you know, under construction, you know, in the works right now. I'm getting ready for the scraping the coast right now, so I'm gonna show you what I'm working with right now, you know. So check it out. As you can see, I got some new wheels on here. It's not 26, it's neither. 28 inch U255s. Show you the tire. Can't really see it. 295, 25, 28. All the way around. It went right on. I had to cut a little bit under the back part of the front fender. Can't even tell though. Right there, you see. And I don't know if I ever showed y'all the whole front end. I got an accident last year. And this is a whole new front end and I painted the grill black. Looks good. And the new new body style F-150 emblems with the platinum. You know, the platinum edition. As you can see, I took my six off. I gotta get an eight. Probably get it this weekend. Yeah, still got the doors on here. Turn it up still. Let me show you my the other thing I was talking about is under construction. Oh yeah, I know I have train horns on here. I posted a video on YouTube with the K3s. I had them silver K3s. But, uh, you know, I got something else under the works. Excuse the bed. I changed my brakes the other day. Got a 12 gallon tank with two compressors. Two Viair 480s, and I still didn't get all the fittings in for the horns. I'm, this is the hose I'm using. It's a half-inch rubber hose. Should be pretty loud, but the horns aren't on here yet. I'm gonna take you inside, show you what they look like real quick. You know a little something me and my boy came up with. K5's up top. And on the other side is the K3's I had. The silver ones we just painted everything flat black to match. Cause these were like an ugly blue color before. We made a little bracket to mount everything up to the frame of the truck. And they had two separate fittings. I'm gonna have two different valves. Everything's gonna be wired together to blow at the same time though. And if you were wondering, this is just quarter inch steel. And we use a drill press to drill through it to make some holes to bolt up to the frame. And it's all half inch fittings. And it's gonna be running at 200 PSI. So let me show you what it looks like under the truck. It's going in the same spot. I had to make a little room. You know, I got Marines underneath, but they're all not hooked up. I need to make. I had to make room for the horns. 
Once I put the horns under there, then I'm gonna throw whatever Marines I can fit back. Three bolts right there. Three bolts right there. And the five, the K5s are gonna be throwing backwards. And the K3s are gonna be throwing forwards. And yes, they do fit for all you people who don't think that they have fit. And these are the uh, two valves, two half inch valves. One valve is gonna be go one valve is gonna be going to the K5s, one to the threes. And excuse all the wires, that's for the Marines, you know. Just temporary. Until we get everything together. Should be done this weekend, hopefully. Just waiting on the pieces to come in. So I'm just rocking with the Marines in the front right now. Me and my boy did everything. If you want train horns done, just let me know. We'll hook you up. It's not hard to do at all. But yeah. You know, I've just been working. Trying to keep it, you know, trying to keep it clean. Just, I just put the wheels on yesterday. They look good. I sold my 26s. Time to upgrade. I've been on them for about two years. Alright, yo. When I get the horns on, I'll let you hear them. Later.